सो डियर स्टूडेंट इन टूडेज क्लास वी विल डिस्कस एटमोसफेरिक इलेक्ट्रिसिटी ओके ऑल ऑफ यू हर्ड इन द रेनी सीजन द लाइटनिंग द स्पार्क यू हैव सी दिस ऑल ऑफ यू इट इज जनरल कॉमन एक्सपीरियंस टू एवरीबडी ड्यूरिंग द रेनी सीजन वी हैव दी हैव द साउंड वी हर्ड द साउंड ऑफ लाइटनिंग एंड ऑल्सो सी द स्पार्क अ ग्लू दैट इज हैपन टू इन अवर स्काई so uh, uh, in this uh, topic we study this effect okay how this effect produced and and what are the reasons for this and all that we will study in this topic now what happened firstly benjamin franklin uh, tried to detect whether the clouds containing any charge or not okay Uh, that is the uh, effort done by the Benjamin Franklin that he want to know that whether any cloud consists any charge or not because we observe that electric charges electric discharge happening from clouds bijli girti hai na badalon se so what the Benjamin Franklin did suppose this is our cloud okay and he flew a kite he flies a kite okay and kite goes in a high sky under a rainy day or thunderstorm day this is badal the aakash mein aur hawaein chal rahi thi okay and with this kite uh, he attach a, a key a metal key okay and he flies this kite uh, under this situation तो इस तरह की सिचुएशन में वो काइट अपनी उड़ा रहे थे ना वॉट हैपन ड्यू टू द रेन द दिस थ्रेड बिकम वेट ये थ्रेड जो है रेन के कारण वेट हो गया और जैसे ही ये काइट रिच इज द क्लाउड वेन एवर दिस काइट रिच इज द क्लाउड द चार्ज प्रजेंट इन द क्लाउड कम्स वायर थ्रेड वायर बिकॉज थ्रेड इज अ इंसुलेटर but thread contains water so that water is acting as a conductor so via thread the charge comes to the benjamin franklin hand and he get a electric shock and also that charge goes into this metallic key and then metallic key got warm up okay that is the heating effect of current whenever this charge goes into this metallic key the metallic key get heated up okay and that metallic key when benjamin when benjamin franklin touch touch it okay he get a electric shock okay so from this illustration benjamin franklin came to know that this uh, cloud consist consist uh, consist of a electric charge okay and that electric charge comes uh, via wire with a with the help of water or you can say wet wire and he get a electric shock okay now our interest is to know that how the clouds are get electrically charged because in our previous discussion we have learned that the static charge is produced by the two methods we have learned the friction and another one is the conduction the two uh, methods we have learned that we can produce a static charge with the help of the friction rubbing the object and another one is conducting okay we have a charge object and we touch the another object the another neutral object is also get electrically charged now what happened is when uh, how the clouds get charged this uh, mechanism is very uh, so simple what happened as when the suppose this is the surface and air above the surface is warm okay so the warm air rises up the warm air rises up okay the warm air rises up and warm air consists of water droplets water vapor because we know that in our atmosphere there is a water droplets okay we in the form of vapors so with the help of this warm air the water vapor also goes up and the air which is above the surface that is cold air okay that is cold air that is cold air and it is hot air okay so hot air goes up and cold air comes down okay 
along with the hot air the water molecules also goes up okay and that cold air comes down and due to the friction between this uh, these gases okay this gases or you can say this gases uh, the water mo molecule get statically charged okay water molecule get statically charged तो जो फ्रिक्शन हो रहा था हवाओं के बीच में उसके कारण वाटर मॉलिक्यूल जो है चार्ज हो गया इलेक्ट्रिकली चार्ज हो गया मींस इट कंटेन सम काइंड ऑफ चार्ज आइदर पॉजिटिव और नेगेटिव दैट डिपेंड्स ओके बट इट 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 गेट्स इलेक्ट्रिकली चार्ज इन दिस वे एंड व्हेन दिस वाटर ड्रॉपलेट कंडेंस बिकॉज हियर द अलोंग विद द हॉट एयर वाटर ड्रॉपलेट्स इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ वाटर वेपर is in the form of water vapor but when this water vapor condenses okay when this water vapor condenses it form a cloud it form a it form a cloud now what happen student suppose there are two clouds one is positively charged okay one cloud is positively charged okay one cloud is positively charged suppose this is this cloud is positively charged and the, uh, nearby it there is another nearby it there is another cloud which is negatively charged okay which is negatively charged so so what happens student due to this due to this the air present between normally air is a bad conductor but in that particular situation whenever these two oppositely uh, charged cloud approaches each other ek dusre ki taraf ye jate hain so what happened the air present between them is a good conductor behave as a good conductor and electric discharge takes place from one cloud to another cloud okay in this way two oppositely charged clouds when they uh, 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 when they reach Uh, approaches each other and electric discharge okay there is a lot uh, flow of charge from positive to negative okay and we see that discharge in the form of lightning okay we see this discharge in the form of lightning in the sky okay so that's how the lightning take place in our sky okay now whenever this electric discharge take place it takes place in a seconds there's a huge amount of there's a lot of amount of charge that flows in a seconds okay so due to that the air get warm up the air get warm up and it expands suddenly it expands I mean, this is this this phenomena takes place in a seconds and in the seconds there is a huge amount of quantity of charge flow from positive to negative cloud and in this time the air get warm up and expands and due to expansion of the air a louder sound is produced okay that is called thunder that is called thunder okay so what is a uh, why the why that how the thunder is produced whenever the lightning lightning happens okay it's uh, the air uh, suddenly expand and due to sudden expansion rapid expansion there is a louder sound produced in our uh, atmosphere and which we hear in the form of thunder okay so this is all about the uh, atmospheric electricity that how the electric uh, electric discharge or you can say lightning take place now what happen is student you have heard the, about in the newspaper that here the lightning falls and there the lightning falls and some people are died over there some trees are burned over there how that takes place suppose suppose this is there is a tree okay now what happen whenever this charge cloud passes over the tree it induces a negative charge on that tree okay it induces a negative charge on that tree and if that that charge is sufficiently high enough if that charge is sufficiently high enough then electric discharge that take place and the tree set, uh, which set of uh, fire in this uh, tree and tree get burn up okay same situation with the buildings and whatever the things present on the earth if they are high if they are high enough that charge will induce a negative charge suppose this is a positive charge the positive charge cloud will induce a negative charge on the top of the tree and what happen if this charge is sufficiently enough then electric discharge takes place from positive to negative and in this way the trees get uh, get uh, fired or damage has been done to the peoples okay 
सो दैट इज नॉट ऑल अबाउट द लाइटनिंग ओके एटमोस्फेरिक इलेक्ट्रिसिटी आई होप स्टूडेंट यू अंडरस्टैंड इफ यू डोंट इफ यू डोंट अंडरस्टैंड सी द वीडियो अगेन इट इज अ वेरी सिंपल टॉपिक ओके सो हैव ए नाइस डे थैंक यू